Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're trying to catch up to some other units that are in pursuit of a vehicle. Been chasing them for about 10 minutes now. Coming out front of us now. There he goes right in front of us here. We're going to try to pit him up here if the speeds are right. We're going to try to stop it before he gets too far. His car is falling apart on him. Hopefully we'll get a chance to pit him here and, and stop it. Three forty five is gonna be number one now. try to take out someone at 54th. Be advised, he's going head on with other units. to the park. vehicle we were chasing our canine unit yep, that's was able to capture him. The Honda Prelude, uh, probably early 90s, the bumper was dragging on the ground. We have other cars in the area looking for the vehicle. I don't think it could have gotten too far. It was falling apart on him. And we're going to go over here and talk with the driver, see what was going on. Is your name Richard? Yes. Okay, Ricky, you're under arrest. I'm running from the cops. You almost killed a couple of my guys and a couple of your stupid friends Officer. inside that car and were throwing stereo equipment Officer. and computers out the window. I, I was over there when I seen you come up and down this block two or three times. So why are you sweating so bad? It's like 50 degrees out here. You guys just beat me. Why are you sweating so bad if you're just standing in front of your house? Officer, when, when they grew, before they touched me, I didn't have a scratch on me. I didn't ask about scratches. I asked about why you're sweating so bad. Because they just dragged me. From where? Your, from, your porch? From, I don't know, over there. Nice try. He was the guy who was in the front of the suspect vehicle. Mm -hmm. They uh, backed into the stereo shop through the plate glass window in Puyallup. Made about six trips into the car with stereo equipment, according to the witnesses, and then took off. I picked them up just as they were turning the corner uh, by the stereo shop and started the pursuit. Uh, when he cut across the freeway median, we got a great shot of him in the headlights, um, easy identification. He took off 
and they started throwing stereo equipment out of the sunroof, and some of it hit my light bar. You should take your light bar off there, huh? Right. Yeah. He bails. Yeah. Car jumps and they take off running. We chase him with 18 and catches him. Right. And I went. I went for the second pursuit and they lost him. All right. Well, he's playing dumb, but that's good. Burglary. You guys gonna do the bur you wanna burglary? You want to do that? And burglary we'll and elude. We got elude on too. What was the second thing you charged me with? Eluding. What is that? I don't know. What is it? Are you? You've never been arrested before? I. I have no idea what elude. Have you ever been? In, have you ever been in jail no, before? I don't. I, all I want. Have you ever look, been in jail before? All I want is what have you, you ever been in jail before? Be arrested. What did I tell you? I said burglary okay. and eluding. Burglary. Uh, okay. I probably attempted assault on police officers for the couple that you tried to hit head on. And what? You tackled me in handcuffs. No, the two when you were driving down Oaks. At I was not driving. Light speed. With your lights. Off. I said I was not driving. Yeah, with your lights off. Well, I'll tell you what. I wish I had that part of my memory. The memory that I Can I ask you a question? Yes. I, 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 hold on. You're interrupting. I've been in this pursuit since, oh, about 72nd in Canyon. We were going over 100 miles. Hold on. Stop. You're interrupting again. <coughs> we went all over God's creation, through that park several times, where I even spun out. And I don't, oh, you're just interrupting arrest. again. I don't even care. Just arrest me because you have the wrong person. And, and you sat you on have, the porch and ran over there Would to you catch have, this listen. heinous criminal. Listen. And hey, can you, like can you listen? Why don't you listen? I don't want to. Why don't I, I, all right, we're done. All right, You're we're done. Did you get the license right. number? Because I have a car registered to me. I have my own car. Oh, you do? Yes, do you usually I... run in your own car? Or maybe someone else's? No. Or maybe a stolen car? I don't drive. Nobody else. Drives. When I drive, I drive my own vehicle. Okay. okay. All right. And I have a car. Even when you do burglaries, do you do your own vehicle? I do not. That's a dumb thing to do, okay. your own car. I don't have the car I drove. You don't know where the burglary is that I did. All right. But, all right. Come on. Come on, man, it's ridiculous. Let's uh, stop it. Yeah, um, yeah, please. The story's getting old. Can I get an ambulance? No, what? What do you need an ambulance for, buddy? Come on. I did not have a scratch on me before I got handcuffed. And now I'm not back to no band-aid. Oh, imagine that. Asthma. Hey, John, just sit down and relax. Now, they've read you your rights, right? Yeah. Did you make it? There you go. I need an ambulance. Okay, we'll get you one. Here, We're going to be going. They, they, we actually have a hospital at the jail. Uh, I need an, I'm right. having an asthma attack okay. right now. Where, where's your uh, inhaler? And it's a couple of blocks away in my car. All right. We got the drive release. The car is somewhere nearby here. We got their unit searching for it. And hopefully we'll get the car and impound it. And, uh, and you ID'd the driver. So at least we got one of the bad guys. That's right. Uh, Good deal. It's not hard to do when there's a lot of cops out at night and nothing else moving on. <laughs> there you go. Good job, man. I've been working the Southeast Area Command for approximately three years, as long as I've been on the department. Um, before I got onto the police department, I met my husband. Um, we had, our first argument was about the fact that he wasn't fond of female officers. Um, now that he's married to one, we no longer have that discussion. I will always win. We're being dispatched to assist an officer who pulled over a vehicle. He needs some assistance. Unknown how many occupants in the vehicle. Yes, I if you want to go ahead and pull the yeah, pass, yeah. I'll get the uh, driver out. Okay. 10 for David, 335. Alright, once you go and step out here. Go ahead and unbuckle your seatbelt, sir. Um, how do you pronounce your last name? Okay, I'm just going to call you Adam. Okay, go ahead and step out for me, okay? Don't grab anything else, just leave it there. Is this your jacket, sir? Your sweater? What's going on today, Adam? You guys heading somewhere? Huh? Do you know this person? David, 336, do you have four women units we have out on this? Did you just get picked up by this person? Uh, she was just going to take me home. Okay, so you yeah, didn't know this person and they were just going to take you home? Okay. Go ahead and step over here. I want to stand right there with the hands on the other side. I want you to pick up a foot of your choice, hold it up six inches up off the ground, point it outward. 
we count one one thousand, two one thousand, until he gets thirty or actually stop. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and begin whenever you want. Go ahead and count out loud. Three thousand, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand, one thousand, twelve, one thousand. Okay, very well. Go ahead and put your foot down. Why don't you go ahead and put your uh, heels back on? I'll be with you in a minute there, Scott. All right? Is this your friend? Yeah. You can wait in the vehicle. Yes. What's that? She's your friend? I just uh, told her she could take me home by the ball. You sure it's a she? Wow. Well, 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 she looks like, but she's a friend. She's a friend? Yes. How long have you known her? Oh, for a few months. A few months? Yes. I just, I What's her name? Um, I forgot. I forgot her, her name. Yeah. So you guys were hanging out at the bar? Well, I, I got there and all, I was only there for about an hour. And then she was sitting there and then just started talking to her and then we had a couple of drinks and then I just told her she could, she had a ride, she could take me home. Okay. And she said, okay. Well, I'm thinking that you didn't meet, meet this person a few months ago. I'm thinking you just met who actually her name's Scott. I think you just met Scott tonight. Oh really? No, I think you met Scott tonight and not before. I don't think Oh wow. Hey, actually Scott's a guy. Did you know that? <laughs> Wanna see his driver's license? What's that say? It's a male? See right there? Male? Oh wow. It's, it's pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> no, I mean it happens. Wow. Nothing bad about that. It's just, you know, you need to be a little bit more aware who you take home because a lot of people are deceiving and can lead into something else because maybe Scott didn't have plans on taking you home. Okay, it could have turned into something more serious, like a robbery or it could have been anything. Okay, uh, Adam? I didn't know. Okay. You want us to call you a cab or are you going to be fine? I'll be fine. Okay. You going home with Scott? No. <laughs> Scott's going home. Now, if you want to go, ride, we're can... not preventing you from going. If, but if you, you want to ride go, with you Scott, you can. Is it, is it okay? That's fine yeah, with fine. you, Adam. Whatever you want to do. All right. We're just looking out for your well-being. Oh yeah, I know what you we're mean. We're concerned okay. about your safety. Okay. Okay. If you want to go with Scott, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Okay. Adam? I know what you mean. Okay. You sure? Yes. Okay. If you want to jump in, I'm gonna give him a citation. Okay. Then you all can be on your way. Okay. All right. Go ahead and get your sweater, and if you're cold, you can put it on and. Well, you can right be on now, your way, Adam. It's all right. Okay. It's not that cold. Okay. okay. Well, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to be giving you a citation to fail to yield the oncoming, oncoming traffic. Yeah. Apparently, you didn't see my vehicle coming down the road, did you? Well, I think I uh, associated with another right. name, Thank you. but I don't remember seeing one of my Oh, okay. So. I got you. Well, since you're from out of state, mm -hmm. it's going to be a $53 fine. You're going to have 30 days from the day to mail the payment up to Santa Fe. Okay. Address is going to be circled on the back of your citation. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you go ahead and sign right down here on the X. Okay. Just make you aware. Do the fact that you're dressed this way. You are a male. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Is that yes? Okay, just make you aware. Vice is working out here. And if they stop you, they will pick you up just because of the way you're dressed. You know, you need to watch out who you're picking up. You know, whatever your lifestyle is, that's fine. You need to be more careful about what you're doing and, you know, be a little more attention to the traffic laws, okay? Okay. Okay? Understanding? Yes. Have a nice night. You too. In this case with Adam, he's not aware of who the driver is. He's stating he knows the driver they hadn't met in the past. A male goes home with someone who he thinks is a female and they get to the house and realize it's a male. Things turn out bad and, you know, we have fights. We've had a homicide. So it's all about safety. I started going to college, thought I was going to be a lawyer for uh, one time, and uh, I just said, you know, I want to be on the other side where you catch these guys. I, I think I can do more there than go out there and try to defend them or so forth. So one day I put an application, and it's been 12 years. Here I am. Four black males, one has a blue Nike shirt, blue jeans, the other one colored shirt with a white pants, the other one dark clothing. Yes, sir? Um, we're en route to a, a little dispute here. Um, some narcotics probably being sold behind this house here. It's a little project area we call, uh, called Edison. 
and uh, these guys here have a little uh, pretty lucrative dope sales back here, but it's hard to catch them because a little winding street, and see if we can see, sneak up on them. Blackmail running uh, eastbound 65th Street. Okay, it's going north, going back, back towards the west, back towards the west. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Reference. Come on. Let, let go, let go, let go. Get him. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. All right. See, this is why he's running. Oh, no. Cocaine and rocks. Oh. Oh. What's up with that, man? Huh? What's up with that? No, you're scared of the out of me, man. What, you scared of the cops? Yeah. You, you yeah. drop something when you're running, huh? No, I ain't dropped it. No? Yeah. Sure? Sure? See, I was right here in the corner when I saw you throw, drop it. You just missed that part, though. Um, we pulled up. I'm blacked out. And as I'm pulling up, he sees me. When I get out of the car, he starts running. So I'm running this way. He sees you. And then when he comes back up this way, I come around here. I see him dump it, you know. And then, you know, you got him over there, so... Tonight, she said, tell me and my girlfriend will fight you. She called the police to my house telling Joe, we will fight you. If you go check the house right now, go she get my clothes in the garbage can. You're, you're late? I'm telling you, my girlfriend got to go right there to right. in a garbage can, man. Okay. She threw my clothes in the garbage can. What I don't understand is this, so, you know, what's the deal with just dumping that like that, man? I mean, it's no big deal. I'm, I mean, I'm we know what people are. I wasn't selling no dope. You see me selling no dope. You see I know. I, you no, see I, said, I didn't say you selling it. I, didn't okay. say, I saw you dump it. I didn't dump nothing. I'm coming around the corner. I saw Come you. on, man. Listen, Come on, man. That girl, that girl right there had an argument, right? Okay, let me, let me just ask you something real quick. Yes, sir. Okay. What have you been arrested for? Uh, ever? For, uh, as many times as you can think of. For possession. Okay, and what else? That's, That's it? it? So you've been arrested just for possession. You haven't been arrested for what? For beating up your girlfriend or. No. Or. No. Possession of what? Cocaine, marijuana? Marijuana, yeah. That's it. Cocaine too, yeah. all right? But Are I you on probation never. now? No, sir. But I don't get is this, though, okay? When I came around, running around this way, the backside, what's up with the old, it's sort of like you're doing football and, but, you know. Oh, man. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You're two cigarettes, man. Just an A form real quick. Do you, do you think what I'm charged with? Jerome, I can only charge you with what I saw. What I can't charge that? you with your girlfriend. Uh, what are you charging me with? I saw you toss that bag. It was... So if you see me toss the bag, what charge is that? Possession. So Same thing you've been arrested for before. Possession. All right. Okay. It doesn't make sense that you know. Okay, you may have had an argument with your girlfriend. You're cooling off, but if you want to get away from your girlfriend so bad, why'd you run back in the same direction? And or why, if you see the cops or the the good guys, why why do you run? Anyways, you can't really explain the fact that you know I come around the corner and and there's a dope that he just dumped. So and and he knows it. He's just got to play the game for a little while, and he's got the history for it. So. Just a ride tonight, and we'll back out there again selling dope soon if, in a few days. So. But I'm gonna give you no. You yeah. see me, sir? Nobody and nothing. I ran because I thought my girlfriend called no. the police. But now you gonna tell me you no. picked up something off the ground, and then you gonna charge me with a ten? Really Jerome, nice. Jerome, let me explain something. I'm only going by what it says. Look, let me explain. Yeah, okay, if I see you, if I see you throw something, I pick it up. That bag has cocaine in it. Okay, if it's got three bags or less, 
it's only possession. But I didn't throw none though. Listen, you've been in you've so been in this far. game in and out. You know what we're talking about. Okay. about too, when it's more about than okay. three bags, it's possession with intent to sell. Whether you had the intent or not, that's your business. But the law says that I can't charge you with that, which I am going but to. Why? But I, I didn't give you no um, reason. I'm telling you why I ran. You don't have. It's not a reason. The law says if you have more than three bags. I've been in and out of this, sir. Dude, you've been charged with possession before. Come on, yeah. come on. Let me show know it. Okay, yeah. if I count 15 bags in there, that's more than personal use. Unless you're going to overdose. Are you going to overdose tonight? Saying, that's not mine, though, sir. Well, everybody says that. I mean, even 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 when I get caught doing something wrong, I say I didn't do it. You know, I I didn't throw it. He didn't throw it. All right. All right, Jerome. You ready? All right, no problem, sir. Y'all have a good All night. All right, guys. Can I, I, I just want some water. You'll get it. All right, this guy knows the game, obviously. I mean, I'll be probably out here running after him again next day or two. Uh, this is what they do. This is their corner, and this is what I do, and uh, it doesn't stop. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Okay, 2514. Can't transmit on tech. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 